Hi guys, my name is KSG. Welcome back to Upside Down Books. Today we are going to be doing my like super modest book haul for September. You're going to be so proud of me. So in September I like only bought three books. I am so impressed with myself. So this is going to be an incredibly short video. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about the books to make up for time. But yeah, wow, I'm so impressed with myself. In fact, I would actually like to say that I technically didn't buy any books in September because one of them was from my blind date with a box package for September. So like, yes, technically I bought that one, but like that was part of a package and the other two are ARCs. So considering that I went all out and overboard, in August, I did a really good job of holding back and not going crazy in September, so I'm really proud of myself, even if that's not super duper fun having like not that many books to share, but like, it's fine. We're heading into October now, I'm sure I'll buy some throughout the month, and before you know it, it'll be Christmas, which is always a crazy book haul time for me. So let's dive in. I'm gonna start with the book that I got in my blind date with the book. So you may have seen this before if you saw my unboxing for September, but it's The World Before Us. This is like a mystery about a girl that goes missing, and the nanny of that girl, I think she it later in her life comes across a similar story, the same woods where the girl that she was looking after went missing and she investigates. That is my understanding of this book. It's um, a lovely hardback and it's got the nice red black combo on when it's naked. So I'm really, really looking forward to, to reading this. I think it's gonna be really fun. Like I'm, I just love thrillers and I think it has some gorgeous cover art. So I'm gonna read the blurb for you now. If you're interested, if not, you can skip ahead, but here we go. So a haunting poignant novel about madness, loss, and the ties that forever bind our pasts to our presents. Deep in the woods of Northern England, somewhere between a dilapidated estate and an abandoned Victorian asylum, 15 year old Jane Standen lived through a nightmare. She was babysitting a young girl named Lily and in one fleeting moment lost her. Lily was never found, leaving her family and Jane devastated. 20 years later, Jane is an archivist at a small London museum that is soon to close for lack of funding. As a final research project, an endeavour inspired in part by her painful past, Jane surveys the archives for information related to another missing person, a woman who vanished over a hundred years ago in the same woods where Lily was lost. As Jane pieces moments of history together, a portrait of a fascinating group of people begins to unfurl. Inexplicably tied to the mysterious disappearance of long ago, Jane finds details of their lives at the country estate and in the asylum that are linked to her own shaken world and their story from all those years ago may help Jane find a way to forgive herself and to finally move on. In the world before us, Ashlyn Hunter weaves together one modern woman's story with a multi-layered historical mystery resulting in a book that vibrates with romance, humour and the inescapable notion that the past is always with us. I am so excited. I have seen some lower, like average uh, ratings on Goodreads, but I don't believe them. I think this is gonna be really fun and I'm definitely looking forward to the day that this gets pulled out of my TBR jar. So I got two arcs in September and the first one is A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. Now this came out on the 29th of September and as you can see, I'm currently reading it. I'm about a third of the way through and it's really intense. It's about a magic school. If you don't know who Naomi Novik is, she wrote um, uprooted. She also wrote His Majesty's Dragon. She's really well known for writing like fantasy and retellings and this one, yeah, it's set in a magical school and it's really dark and intense so far. So this is the blurb. I decided that Orion Lake needed to die after the second time he saved my life. Honestly, that's, it's like the opening line to the book and it's my favourite. From the New York Times best-selling author of Uprooted and Spinning Silver comes the story of an unwilling dark sorceress who is destined to rewrite the rules of magic. Enter a school of magic unlike any you have ever encountered. There are no teachers, no holidays, friendships are purely strategic, and the odds of survival are never equal. Once you're inside, there are only two ways out. You graduate, or you die. Elle Higgins is uniquely prepared for the school's many dangers. She may be without allies, but she possesses a dark power strong enough to level mountains and wipe out untold millions, never mind easily destroy the countless monsters that prowl the school. 
except she might accidentally kill all the other students too. So Elle is trying her hardest not to use it, that is, unless she has no other choice. This is just like such a fun read so far, it's one of my favourite enemies to like enemies to friends relationships that I've read and I just yeah I'm really loving it. So thank you so much to Penguin Random House for sending a copy my way, I am really really excited about it. So that brings me to the final book for this haul, how refreshing, and that is Leave the World Behind by Ruman Alam and this one is published by Bloomsbury so thank you Bloomsbury, can you see that? Thank you Bloomsbury very much for sending me a copy, I did actually request this, this is not the final cover though I think I actually prefer it to the final cover and this is a dystopian that sounds super duper exciting. Oh my goodness, okay so I've just seen on the inside it's it said soon to be a major Netflix film starring Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington. I'm going to have to procure a blurb because my copy does not actually have one on it. Let's have a look-see. I think this sounds really haunting and I'm actually really excited because I think it's going to be a, a real mind game sort of um, dystopian. But yeah, some really different covers for it on the normal edition. So this one comes out on the 20th of October. So the blurb is, a magnetic novel about two families, strangers to each other, who are forced together on a long weekend gone ter terribly wrong. Amanda and Clay head out to a remote corner of Long Island, expecting a vacation, a quiet reprieve from life in New York City, quality time with their teenage son and daughter, and a taste of the good life in the luxurious home they've rented for the week. But a late night knock on the door breaks the spell. Ruth and G.H are an older black couple. It's their house and they've arrived in a panic. They bring the news that a sudden blackout has swept the city. But in this rural area, with the TV and the internet now down, and no cell phone service, it's hard to know what to believe. Should Amanda and Clay trust this couple and vice versa? What happened back in New York? Is the vacation home, isolated from civilization, a truly safe place for their families? And are they safe from one another? Suspenseful and provocative, Ruman Alam's third novel is keenly attuned to the complexities of parenthood, race, and class. Leave the World Behind explores how our closest bonds are reshaped and unexpected new ones are forged in moments of crisis. I am so excited to read this. I think it sounds brilliant. I think it's going to be such a brain teaser. So I cannot, cannot wait to pick it up. So those are the three books that I got in September. A very modest haul for me. I'm very proud of myself and I'm already reading one of them. So big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you've heard of any of these or if you're planning on reading either of these two arcs that are coming out. I would love to know. But other than that, I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>